Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Die. Nope, Claim to Master. Sorry about that. Uh, we're playing Alistair, playing a support game. And what my plan is, is I'm going to play this game. Next game, I'm going to queue as mid, and I'm going to try and play a Nivea, you know, with a little bit of inspiration from the last game that we played with that Anivia. If you didn't watch that game, go do that. It was a little bit nuts. Uh, we played Jin and the Anivia mid. It was like, whoop. Uh, and then after that, we'll do an AD carry game. Uh, but the game itself is Diamond 3 on average. We have a Platinum 1, which I'm guessing is a Smurf situation. I've got no idea. But then Diamond 2, Diamond 2, Diamond 2. So actually, I'm Diamond 3. He's Platinum 1, but everybody on my team is Diamond 2. So apart from us two. And then Diamond 2, Rakan as well. So the MMR is getting there. Comp-wise, this is a very up-in-the-air game. Because you have the Feeding Brothers that either will get Legendary, both of them, or they'll both be 0-10. There's not really an in-between with either of those champions. We have an Ash, again, very hit-or-miss champion. Can do very well if they get a lead, but if they do bad, people are literally just going to run over an Ash and she's going to die and die and die and die. Um, Silas, again, arguably a broken champion right now, but we'll see if it does well this game. Zin, very strong jungler. Do not underestimate or sleep on Zin. Uh, Zin. And also Diana, also very strong champion that can do quite well. So, yeah. Also, YouTube, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell, baby! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. I literally picked the skin just to do that. I'm not even lying. Oh, that, yeah, that was great. You're right there, Ash. Alright. I, I actually was, like, thinking Callista Rakan. I'm sure it's a fine combo, but it's like, maybe they wanted Alistair. Alistair Callista is very scary. But, to be fair, if you throw a Rakan in, he can ult without using his W, which is quite good. I'm guessing that isn't a great matchup for Yone in top lane. All right, let's get a sense of this Ash. I can't remember what it said on her profile on Professor. Does anybody remember? Which skin is Ash using? Oh. Um, cowboy one. Yeah, I think it was the cowboy one, the um, the one that the line that Thresh has got. High noon, I that's it. Where did Rakan go? High, it's apparently high noon, but she's using a chroma. There you go. Nice. Works for me. Ah, I tried to get the W to then auto the cannon, but I just couldn't get there in time. Sage. Nice, good bully. Yeah, Ash seems pretty good so far. Yeah, Ash did heal. All summoners have been used in bot lane. I want to try and keep it kind of here. But that ain't going to happen. Yeah, Ash did not need to heal. Neither of us were close to death at all. But, um... Again, better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Let's stop the Zin getting this, shall we? Come here, Ash. No, no, no. Ash, Ash, Ash. Nothing can hold me back. This could go really well. You've been Jesus, Yasu nearly died. Shame that we didn't get both of them. Kind of felt like we should have probably got both. Na, 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 na. 
Gonna go the back way. Oh, I hate the meta. Doesn't matter about mid lane when you just teleport bot lane. Ooh, I love it. I love it. So we have an 18 farm Yone. Hopefully it's just it's not as bad as the previous Yone. Well, that guy was really bad. Uh, this guy doesn't play Yone. He's a Darius main. Like he's just he's literally just ra he. All right, I've just found he in the last 30 days he's got no Yone games. But has he played any of the champion? Yep, three games and he's lost all three. Yay. And he's dead again. Oh, we lost the game because of Yone. God damn it, dude. I don't get why people do this to themselves. Like, clearly, you're not going to have much fun. Can's mid. At least we didn't die. So annoying. Oh. You know, tells a question. I mean, it's a very questionable pick, especially that he doesn't even play it. Just, just randomly pull it out is odd. As we literally spoke about the same topic from last game. We're like, well, you know, one Yone is one of those very strong champions, but like Yasuo, people feed on them a lot. Two games in a row. Unfortunately for us, it's well, well, last game was the enemy mid, and now unfortunately we have it. So today has actually been a lot of feeding Yones, because there was a one before that as well, right? I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, I doubt Fiora, like, I doubt there's much a Yone can do really into this matchup anyway. But that's why you don't just randomly take it top. You have to really know what you're doing to make that work. Arguably learn how to play Yone in his intended role of mid and then be like, oh, I've got the confidence now to take him even in top. They probably would do Rift. If I was in, I'd be doing Rift right now. Because at least you're giving your team something objective-wise. Yeah, the Diana seems quite good. Which is nice. The Ash doesn't seem bad, I will say that. Yeah, just throw an arrow. If they come again, just arrow. Fiora's broken. Fiora's not broken. She's just designed to be what she is. She's the 1v1 duelist champ.
Ooh. Can the fee can the, the the brothers Ah No. <laughs> They're both dead. Are they both dead? They might be both dead. I'm actually gonna go tabby this game. Back. Is he in there? You need to fight him, my dude. Yeah, fight! Dude! What? He needed to do more damage with the dot. Okay, you got him. But why did you delay your damage? He could have just straight up killed him straight away. That was weird. Like, he nearly really mucked that up. And then he overstays and gets killed by a Rakan, randomly. Weird. Stop questioning the wind, brothers. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, go away. She's like a little annoying fly. I know the Ash could just free farm in bot lane, by the way. If she holds it there, which she is, which is good. I'm on my way. Keep fighting, but just don't die, lads and ladder. Oh my, look at that Silas healing. It's so busted. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Silas. <laughs> Again, there is a reason that Silas has basically a pick or ban rate in high rating. You either ban the champion, you'll pick the champion. That is how Silas is and has been for a while. <sighs> Alright. At least Ash is farming nicely. Well, if we can turn this game, this would be impressive. I'll say that. Silas snowballs like crazy. Yeah. It's the I've said for a while, it's the combination of incredibly easy to play and crazy damage, crazy healing. Oh, that was a bad arrow. And Silas! Because again, he can. She's like, oh, you can press R. Yeah, I leveled while we killed the Silas, my dude. What was that? It was again, it was a Silas imagining, you know, stealing someone's ultimate, which, lo and behold, is quite a strong mechanic. Surprise. He's not even fed? Nope, that's his items. It's, yeah. Although I know, like, I've had a personal thing for Silas for ages, but it's not just me. Like, there is. If you look at pick ban rate in higher rating, he is literally pick ban. That isn't a thing unless the high rating people are like this champion is ridiculously broken. He keeps mucking up his EQ, by the way. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Power you go. Get ignited as well, why not? There we go. Oh my god, I got the kill. God damn it. The ignite got the kill. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Alright, that's better. But again, there was no Silas in that fight. He was top lane for some reason. Is, he's getting nerfed this upcoming patch though, right? Yeah, he is. They are finally nerfing him. Because I was about to say, like, if, you know, all of these crit, like patches in the last few years. Year, year, year? Eight months, I don't know. 
I was very surprised that Silas of all of them was the one that got untouched. J like, literally just due to the fact of the pick rate. Like, pick rate alone, it was surprising that nothing got changed for the champion. But yeah, he is finally getting nerfed. I'd say a little bit potentially too late. God damn it, Silas. It's so boring. Okay, arguably Ash should have arrowed, but it was also really too deep for Diana to do that as well. Oh, Yono's overstaying really badly. He's dead. Can we do anything about that? Stampede. Can I use them, plus? Yeah, uh, Twitch chat is saying right now it's insane how long they actually took to nerf Silas. Yeah, there, there have been... There, I think it's the human element of game design. There are just sometimes champions that go under the radar because, you know, as dumb as it sounds, the dev team could like the champion. The dev team could want the champion to be meta, so they don't want to nerf it because they like it being meta. There, there's an abundance of reasons. But, like, there has been, like, Katarina, Castadin... There are a bunch, and they're usually kind of the uh, the same type of champion, which to me does go to the evidence of maybe they like that type of champ. They like AP melee type of champs, possibly. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to delay my item here because I'm going to get a bramble. Oh, warped horizons! Thirty-four months of prime. Thank you so much, dude. Says waiting anxiously for results from the appraisal of my house. That we're in the process of purchasing. Thank you for the uh, momentary distraction, gem and thighs. Hey, no worries, dude. Hopefully that all goes nice and smooth for you. Nothing can hold me back. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you for the long-term support as well. Mucho appreciate. Okay. I think grouping would be good. If Yone decides to actually group up. Okay, at least Fiora's not. Oh wait, Fiora's there. She might be on her... She's looking to TP, I guess. He does have TP. So as long as he doesn't die in the 1v1, and as long as his teleport, he does a teleport as well, then maybe we're fine. Yep. We need Yone TP. An ally has been slain. Okay. Again, if, if Silas actually took skill to play, then sure, but he's such a stupidly easy champion to play. Holy moly. Press W. You do a million damage and you heal yourself a million. Woo. Uh, maybe they need to make W a skill shot or something. Hey, I'm Broken Lizard. Day's going pretty good. Um, he's got I. So they're going bot lane with it. We can counter it. Look. 
Oh yeah, change the, just change the W. Riot aren't scared of changing things that are fundamentally dumb. Look at the Akali rework. They've changed that quite a lot since its inception. Oh, I got a good stun. But Silas is here. He mucked up actually quite badly then. Oh, sick! Hello. Auto attack! I'm really tanky right now. Please. Oh, I played that really well, but I just don't know if it's enough. It's not enough. Why are you top lane? <laughs> it's, it's, today, it's literally be like, uh, like, we might be able to win this game, but it's going off. The, remember a few games ago? We were losing, 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 and it's like, oh, maybe if we group, w will this Yone clip? I'm not holding my breath. He doesn't seem great, but it would be great if he groups. But that was Ash. That was a really good Ash arrow. Good prediction. Because now he's, watch this, he's going to overstay and he's going to get killed because he's overstaying probably top lane. It's the typical bad Yone player. You can get really good Yone players, but yeah. Wait, what doll? Yeah, so I think as evidence shows, this is not a good Yone player. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, Jesus Christ. And Yasso's now bot lane. What? The Tweedledee and Tweedledum here, the two brothers. Yeah, you're not doing Baron, buds. Ooh, that was a really good um, W by her to have the reaction time. We stopped them doing Baron at least. That's good. But what I don't like. Uh... It's annoying. We'll leave it at that. Oh look, Yasso's over. Like literally, they both do the exact same thing. It's like the Yasso and Yone, are the same player. That would be a really good double kill. I don't think, yeah, the, the one kill's good. I'm telling you guys right now, it's the, the exact same situation as last game. If we group this game, we win. I'm going to say that right now. If we group, we'll win the game. If Yone persists on... Like, look, he's starting to do quite well. He just killed the Fiora. Like, like, he's starting to get strength. If he stops like the perma split push, we'll win the game. That is Huzzy's prediction. And that was a one item Yone versus a two item Fiora. And he just straight up went wabam. Again, Yone, we saw, we've seen today feeding Yones that turned the game because when they get one or two items, he does a million damage. Arrow, 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 arrow! Where is the Ash Arrow? <laughs> oh, he's clean. Oh, snap, he clean. That was disgusting. <laughs> uh, not even close. They. And I gave Yasso, what, a three man ulti? Was it two or three man? Well, arrows on cooldown? Oh, okay. That's fair. Again, I can't notice everything. If ever I get something wrong like that, just please do realize it, you know. You're playing a game, you're not always gonna get everything right, you're not always gonna. Hold on. Um, you're not going to get everything right. And also, you know, if you're playing League right now, like, you're, like when you play League, 
you'll know that you make mistakes yourself. We all do. And then on top of that, I'm streaming. So it's like I've got an extra layer of distraction. Also looking at chat, looking at subscribers, whatever it may be. There's a lot of distractions. So I'm not always going to get everything right. I'm not always going to be like, oh, why didn't she ult? Ash had ult and then she didn't. So mistakes happen. That's fine. Uh, TK Morgenbird, 34 months with Prime. Thank you much, TK Morgenbird, for the long-term support. Stop blaming us, you pleb. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why aren't we just grouping, by the way? We have Baron now. It's like they've not realized. We've just won fights by grouping. And then Yone and Yasuo are like, back to split pushing. It's like, uh, what? Excuse me. I don't like that Ash positioning. We won! Oh my god. What is today, guys? We've literally had the same situation. We've literally had... I'm not even kidding. If, you have, if you've been watching all the videos, you'd be like, oh yeah, you literally have. We literally have had a feeding Yone that really bad, and then they get one or two items... And then they, re they they turn their own game around by feeding like crazy. And then we end up winning the game. What? Oh my god. I don't get it. I'm going to give it to the Diana because she just played solid. Uh, I don't... Uh, uh, uh. That's that's the summary of the game. Those noises. We have 1514 plus 16, 68 LP. And then damage wise, dueling. <gasps> oh! oh my god, I nearly out damaged Callista. Again, they had a pretty rough game. They weren't doing that much. But I nearly outdamaged the Callista as an Alistair. Obviously, I do way more than the Rakan. And I nearly outdamage a Callista. So, yeah. I mean, again, the the Wind Brothers are known to feed. But as we all know, like it's that kind of joke that, oh, the, the 0 10 power spike. The meme of it is a Yasuo will go 0 10 or Yone goes 0 10. And then by that time in the game, they'll get their one item or two items. Then suddenly, oh, they'll start killing everything. That's kind of the joke. It, today's shown it, man. We've literally had this example two times today. Like, it's funny. It's less like, hilarious. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, please do throw a like on the video. Throw a subscribe. Hope Again, hope you're all doing fantastic. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.